Hello everybody and welcome to Udo 11 development tutorial. In our last video we were able to install Udo successfully on our Ponto 17.1 and uh, let's confirm that uh, you have Udo in Udo 11 tutorial this folder and uh, it is Udo over there and these were all the files uh, that we were able to uh, clone from Udo repository on, on github okay so i i, I want to confirm that uh, i wanted to clone the repository itself so that uh, as a developer uh, i need to uh, pull the updates uh, daily to get uh, bug fixes and new features uh, whatever the updates uh, they had on in, in the repository as you can see i have got all the updates uh, most of it in po files and po files are the files for translating uh, the terms in, in Udo. Okay. Okay, so there is uh, no something uh, necessary. There is no updates in Python files uh, nor in, in XML files. It's all about localization or translation. Okay, so in this lecture, I'm going to discuss the start command. Um, everything or the magic or, or the magic, all the magic can be done using the script. Okay, um, I will add help to find what it can, uh, what can do, and uh, I'm I'm interested more in the most used comments, like uh, help. You you do not have to save uh, all uh, these comments in your mind. All you need to uh, remember is help. Just remember help, and the uh, help will help you to find other comments. Okay scaffold is a command that you are using to generate an Udo module and we will go uh, for it in another video uh, also you have the server and it's the default command uh, that helps you to uh, uh, to start the server for for Udo and you do not have to uh, add it because it's the default one and it will be uh, uh, added automatically okay so uh, the other one is shell command and we will also start with shell in another video and uh, it is interactive shell where you can test some uh, some uh, let's say lines of codes in, in the shell directly before writing it and to make sure that uh, the system will respond uh, as you expect uh, when you when you write your code Okay, today I'm, I'm going to start with start. This is a quick start of Udo server for your project. Actually, start is a command that we have used the last time. I'm, I'm sure that you remember that we have uh, added add-ons dash pause and start dash d dash, um, sorry, the database in the, uh, name which was test illustration. So I, I need to get more details about uh, start. I will use Udo pen with the common dash dash help. Start dash dash help, and here we are with the description over there. We have start dash h, which is stands for help. Okay, it's here with the description. It's help. Okay, and uh, at the pass is the pass directory where your projects module are stored. Okay, you can you can use the pass here, or you you can just use it like this. Udo dash pen dash dash addons path. Okay, and you can add all the files, all uh, the addons passes you have uh, comma separated. Okay, so um, now for now I'm using addons. If I have some other folder, but I will name it custom addons. Okay and it will be located side by side this folder not in Udo but side by side Udo okay and I will name it uh, custom add-ons and it will contain all the add-ons uh, that we are going to create later on okay so the last option is the dash d the database or dash dash database so whatever you can you can I, okay I will remove because you, we still have no custom add-ons okay start dash d it will be our database the new database i will name it uh, let's say custom hr actually we are going to start uh, to build our own module hr 
uh, in this tutorial okay so i will hit enter so that it will start uh, the server and on support uh, 1869 uh, using these add-in passes and as you can see and as i have told you uh, the last uh, last time in the last video uh, that we have all uh, it's all info and it's all green which is really really great news and you won't understand why because you know the errors is disturbing you it's gonna got you panic okay so uh, we have now the server is loading all the XML files. Um, you can think about XML files and CSV files also in order as some sort of the database. Okay, so actually in, in W3 school they uh, define XML files as a way to uh, transfer and hold the data. So it's some sort of database. So, okay, I'm, I'm going to start my Firefox. You can you are free to use uh, Google or Chrome, of course, if you want. Okay, I will add. Oh, I'm sorry, I mistyped it. It's local. Something is wrong with my keyboard, so I will hit. It's not easy to type and talk at the same time. So I uh, the username and password for the demo database or newly created database it will be admin admin okay so creating the database in such way let's say I will start a new session using uh, uh, private mode in uh, in Firefox okay we have localhost and I will okay okay I, I need to manage the database here as you can see we have custom HR over there okay and uh, we have a backup and delete we can we, you can backup the database which will help you to download this database as a compressed file so that you can test it on um, another the machine you can upload it to your server and whatever you can do whatever okay you can also duplicate the database so that you can run your tests on uh, the duplicated database and keep the original one safe with no uh, modifications and you can also delete the database from over there okay you can also have the option to create a new database from there so you have new database you can set it admin and password admin and um, usually it is the, the most used uh, uh, let's say criteria when you create a new database but you still have the option to create uh, whatever it, like your email and uh, be sure that uh, this email or I'm sorry this user will be the admin so when you have this email by the way it's my personal email and um, you are invited to contact me uh, feel free to contact me anytime if you want okay uh, and you can create also the password if you want okay why I'm telling you that because I have just created a new database and the username and password was admin admin because it's the de default one for the demo databases okay and um, over there i will not create a new database okay and here we have everything up and running just by using this command this it's there Odoo dash pen script where you can do every single magic you can ever dream uh, using this command and of course dash dash addons pass start and i have started a new database called custom hr okay uh, i believe now we are ready to move on and uh, follow up and do not forget to subscribe to get notified with new uh, videos um, keep it up goodbye